<laughs> this is it's such really a hype matchup. Not over yeah, hype matchup for sure. It's yeah. such a hype matchup, and this is such a sad story for me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. And just regenerate right through the trade so it's not the biggest loss for the LC. And again, you can always threaten with overwhelming odds. At level 3 with level 2 up, it's a pretty painful time up top. Yeah, top lane. Toronto Tokyo setting up first blood with the Oracle. Tofu going down. Very nice setup with the Oracle. Though I dare say Bet Boom is having a somewhat better time, at least in the side lanes. Like Nightfall, top of the CS on the Brood. And of course, Pure. 27 and 8 on the LC. Bottom lane speaking of, save. Gonna be chased down now with the Firefly of Celery, but Pure is gonna jump in onto Durancio. Durancio dropping low, needs to be careful! Ooh. Oh, he's gone! Save might go down, but you got the position one Slark. This is what I'm saying about this team, John. Like, even just during the laning stage, Bet Boom is so clean as Pure is still chasing. Hoping for the procs of the moment of courage. So much damage with the overwhelming odds with the creep wave up. Even onto a Slark. Like, it's not comfy for Duracho. Still at level 4, about to hit 5. Pure yeah, working again. Six. Quinn is here this time. Pure surely goes down. Pure though fighting back with the overwhelming odds. And now Toronto Ooh. Tokyo with the hills out. Pure, he's running. He has made it. Pure is, is out. Mana? Quinn's in trouble. Quinn is out of mana, but he is going to make it himself. Toronto Tokyo coming in clutch with the Fate Edict. They're, they're looking scary. This movement across the map from Toronto Tokyo is just genius. He sees the opportunity top. Nightfall calls for him to come in to bait out that bat rider trying to sneak around. They Quinn. find the punishment. Oh. Focus fire. Quinn. Quinn is down. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, you just said it. Toronto Tokyo. Like the movement from this Oracle. It is very rare that you will find this much impact. This Slark. Bottom network core right now. Not the best position. Slark does want Top. a fast ramp up. You know, he wants to start to get aggressive with, say, a quick Echo Saber Ax timing. Oh, and Ace. Up. They purge off the Surge. Ace is not going to make it out, I don't think. Plenty of control. And Nightfall. He'll pick up his second kill now as the Broodmother. He's going to have the Echo Saber very soon. And John, we, we know what happens when the Harpoon comes out. Oh, that was sarcastic. Jonathan, obviously 70% is not a low number. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Lycan, Lycan has a lot as well. Hold on. Here we go. Shackle, oh, perfect from God. GPK, landing on two. Celery will be the target. Immediately bursted down. Meanwhile, Jewel on the backside has found out Ace. And that'll be the first Jewel victory for Pure. And they move right into the Ancient Stacks. Thank you so much, Gaiman. These will be ours now. We'll take care of it. This is going to be a very hard... A hard to deal with spider here. And I don't know how you even kill off spider infections in Australia, Mike. Oh, right now they need to figure out how to save Quinn, John. Quinn is in huge trouble. Look at this. Quinn is deleted. Oh Celery TPing in to try and help, but he might just be another sacrifice to the spider gods. Nightfall instead wants tofu. Nightfall not feeling like meat today. We'll take down the techies. You open up these fights for you. Let's see. They're smoked up here. That they are. Mid lane game and waiting. Bet Boom, they'll know exactly the, where they are now with the Pulse Nova on the Creep Wave. So Bet Boom gonna start to move in. A bait here by GPK though. No, he's caught. Lasso was there. Oh. He's still alive. Now the Jewel out. They've caught Ace with that Jewel. They're trying to win it though and Pure's down. Ace will win the Jewel in the dark here. Meanwhile, Nightfall will deal with Tofu. But Gaiman, they won't be too upset with these trades. Oh, hold on a minute, GPK. Two-man shackle, Quinn getting pretty low. Durancio gonna jump back in, needs to pounce out with the Shadow Dance, and we'll make it for now, but Nightfall, he's on the chase. Durancio, he's all right. Side of Gaiman, they've got that Blinken Celery. Easier time to find those lasso plays. Ace. He might be able to sneak around here for Ace. Yeah, Ace needs to find a way out of this one. Surge is there, he's still just being chased down by Nightfall who had the Harpoon, did use it already, will still chase. Rod of Atos is out on Celery now, but they want Ace first. A double shackle from GPK holding both of them down. This Wind Ranger, GPK, he is hitting every shackle. Well, still, I mean, Gaiman, they're going to go for that mid-tier one tower. They might be able to get away with this. The Diabolic Edict of Quinn going to be more than enough. 
Um, Gaiman, no one near out of this game yet. They'll find Toronto down a bot lane. GPK will be there to try and help out. Focus fire gets started. Toronto, he's still alive. He'll get the false promise in time. Now the Glaive near lockdown from GPK, who has a double damage room going. Garaccio, he can't survive it. The duel will be there in time. Pure, he'll win. And now the shackle from GPK. Landing on two again. Oh, it's just a... Oh, it's just such a one-way street. GPK. Ultra kill for the Wind Ranger. Ace came prepared with the bug spray. Radiant structure. Nightfall. Still the big, big problem. Celery going to try and go. Jewel is out. They've oh. got the Raccio. They have got the Slark locked down with the Jewel and they've got the victory to boot Pure. With zero hesitation and now the Shackle. GPK. GPK. He's been in his math classes, John. He's finding all the angles here. Snipefall, hands up. Ace trying to run. Harpoon is up. Come <laughs> right back to mother. Ace, he's all right. The Glaipnir will not be there in time. Point four, yeah, five. Okay. That, it's, that's so dumb. <laughs> I don't think we'll reach to level 25 on Nightfall, to be fair. So, and your hold is here with a wave clear on side of Gaiman, but you, you don't have any kill potential it just feels like there's there's nothing to stop nightfall there's nothing to stop gpk let me around harpoon in hello quinn he'll try to pop the the blood it will kind of work out in his favor the bloodstone i meant jonathan but the mid racks or rather bot racks is still going down nightfall not backing off yet quinn trying to move in a big press the attack or rather overwhelming odds from pure as quinn Still trying. Oh, he's locked down now. Still the Death depth round will save him as Nightfall is still going. False promise gonna save. Duraccio trying to get out of this. He's gonna make it. So hard though, because like, if Save and Toronto are still alive, Nightfall knows he can't die and GG's called. 24 and a half minutes in, Bet Boom will take game one. I don't know if you can call this a complete outdraft from Bet Boom. I think it was just a complete outplay from Bepu because they, they just looked incredible. I think it's a mix of code. And they had a much stronger draft for this early tempo. I mean, Gaiman, even if they've already secured their their upper bracket spot, I, I don't think they want to get too old here. You know, we, we know Quinn in particular. I've spoken to the man personally. He is not a happy boy when he loses games like that. What about that top lane, John? We haven't talked about top lane at all. Duraccio, Celery against Pure and save. Lift up onto Celery. Already a lot of damage being dealt. Infernal Blade out. Celery gonna try and blast off and will not make it. Pure has enough. Duraccio now forced to back away. Full strength morph on his way out. Just to ensure he remains protected. An unfortunate for Nightfall who has to try and farm underneath the Dire Tier 1 tower. Meanwhile, top lane, Duraccio. Dropping a little bit low. It's gonna be okay. Save was on the chase, but doesn't have the lift up to abuse. Twin gate usage is there by Celery down towards the bottom lane now. Tofu though, already finding Nightfall. A nice start as Toronto Tokyo trying to run, but here comes Celery with the Sticky Bomb getting another. Not only do they find the Medusa, but they'll find the Undying with it. See if they find an angle. Three man rotation down bottom. Game and they do have four heroes here as well, so Quinn should be relatively safe. In fact, mines are going to reveal the smoke. Bet Boom running right towards them. Blast off away is going to be nice from Celery to buy him a little bit of space to move. GPK is still chasing him down. Meanwhile, Quinn, he will hold the rest of them back. They will lose Celery. Only one down so far for Gaiman. But GPK wants more. Moving forward, here comes Duraccio from the Morphling. From the north, they have found the Medusa, locked him down, but the Stone Gaze is still not being used up. Eventually does get committed. Won't really matter though. They were just illusions. Two going down for Gaiman. Bet Boom, get away with this. Duracho not too far away from his own Lincolns to protect. There should be a good surprise factor coming out here. Fourth side of Gaiman once that's up and running, but... Tombstone down, Tofu gonna be targeted first. A very easy pick off to take as Tofu is already down. Quinn, Celery both trying to run. Hua does have the Doom available, so Gaiman have to be extremely cautious. T1 tower now extremely low. Ace, he's gonna be the target. Nightfall will go for the chase, but Ace will walk his way out. You do get some level three chains on save. So he could hope to lock somebody down now as Pure gonna go for the Doom does find Quinn with that GPK with the Rolling Thunder trying to find the Ember instead they'll focus on Celery that's your tech he's gone Pure is still alive as Tofu will follow 
Tofu going down with his support brethren. Meanwhile, Toronto Tokyo dropping pretty low to Ace. They chain them up. Duraccio in. He gets one. He gets GPK. Duraccio, how much can he clean up? He'll get the chains out now. That'll be a triple for Duraccio. The perfect morph into the Rubik. He got the lift and the chains out from save. And three heroes for the morph. God, the odds can't be that bad, can they? That is kind of insane. Dyer are scanning. All right, I mean, great odds to take if you're a gaming fan. Uh, I don't think they're that, they're that far behind in this uh, in this game too. It's Quinn, chains out, can't save. There's a tombstone down from Toronto. Duraccio in the middle of all this will wave form away. Meanwhile, save not finding a raw target yet. As they are going to lose Celery, and now the Doom comes out. Pure not going to allow the Beastmaster any kind of plays. They do take down Ace. Duraccio trying to run out of there. We'll get to the Lotus Pool. Needs a TP. It is cancelled by Pure. He can try to take the Lotus while he's here. He won't even get that. Maybe the odds were right, John. <laughs> Maybe the odds were right. Not able to use that roar at all. And Duraccio just has to run in. But with all of his team dead, it's an easy time to break that Lincoln's. Find that opening. Bedboom just looking to take away these objectives. We'll go for the... Tormentor, another free shard going their way here. Go on to Toronto, Tokyo. So now you've got the tombstone saves that can come out. She is pretty impact. You are. Shard is silly. You are. He has found Quinn. Mid lane, the doom is out. Celery is going to try and save Quinn's life. The chase is on from Pure. He's ignoring Celery altogether. He just wants the Ember Spirit, and he's got him again. Another stun out. Pure taking down NA's finest. Celery will follow up with that as well, going to the grave with his mid player. Celery is still going to be okay to run away with the reactive taser. They could look towards Ace, but they are lacking the vision over the Beastmaster at the moment. Quinn's going to join his team once again with an arcane rune now up. Roar is committed. Who have they got? It's going to be saved, but the tombstone grab is there. Toronto Tokyo making a bit of time for this Rubik to survive through all of this as Ace is the one getting caught out. Celery is out with the blast off, at least taking down the Undying. And now Pure is the target, but they've got Ace down. They've got Celery down. And Duraccio, he is being chased. Lincolns will save from the Doom of Pure. Quinn. He's also a target they could try for, but Pure, he is going to get annihilated by Duraccio. The adaptive strike, going to be enough, but they've lost GPK as well. GPK, not able, well, can buy back. Quinn will fall to boot. So a three for three in the end, I believe. And it was, the net worth does favor Gaiman with, that, with those uh, exchanges happening. Under draft, with the Lincolns being up, with the disruption being on top there as well. It's not the easiest time inside of Batmoon to find one and go. So you're still forced to respond and sort out your lanes. Mid lane. Ace. Lift up. Chains out. They've caught Ace. He's going to try and TP out there, but they've got the raw stolen. Save. Lift into the chains. Now with the roar up. We'll find Ace. Duracho at least gets through onto Tokyo up the top lane, but it's not a good trade for Gaiman. They see Nightfall on the Dusa. Illusions will be left behind. Top lane also being forced in by Duraccio, so they've got to try and address the top lane. In fact, Pure, he's jumped in. He'll break the Lincolns himself. Duraccio thought he could get away with this. Pure, seeing how many players were down at the bot lane from game and just makes the immediate jump in. It's an opportunity for the high ground here for sure. Doom isn't too far off for Pure. All right, full. A little bit of hesitation. We'll move in now. Half H, half mana on the Dusa, but has the Aegis for two and a half minutes. We'll get the Illusions out. Nightfall. Again, it's not going to be the easiest high ground siege. Plenty of ways to burn through the mana pool of Nightfall with this high ground, unless they lose Quinn. Oh, he's been doomed up. Just immediately out with a very cheeky ward placement on the high ground. Quinn is down with no buyback. Look at that ward jump. Right in the top left corner. Nightfall, not backing off, still a minute 45 on the Aegis. May just accept the reset. No, he'll eat the cheese. No reset for me. Not the death way. Doom committed, bottom lane, he's got to Rachio. Pure. You just can't keep your eyes off this guy. He's always doing something. Duraccio is gone. GPK to take that one, while they're still pushing the top racks. Just keep 
stealing all the big spells. Nightfall wouldn't mind dying here right now, honestly, with that lack of manifold. They have managed to stall for enough time for the respawns at the least. But they'll lose the racks. Well, they'll lose the Aegis at least, but it was expiring. Not a big deal. Can they punish the Medusa? Nightfall, gonna be a lot more cautious now. They've got the grab ally with the tombstone, which makes it kind of hard though. If they can't deal with the tombstone, you've always got a bit more save for this Medusa as they'll continue throwing everything but the kitchen sink onto her. Disruption out again from Tofu. Pure's in though. Pure breaks the Lincolns of Quinn. Has Doom back up in 10 seconds, by the way. As they do claim the top racks. They've got to be careful. Bed Boom may, may not back off. They might go again. So let Celery's down by save. These Medusa illusions from save with the disruption just doing so much work for him because like, you saw save just casually killing off celery with the medusa illusions last team fight makes it much easier for you to safely push up high ground as well with the extra illusions that save can now provide so we'll go again Wrong thunder not committed yet but pure he got the doom off again they found the morphling Duraccio saved for now but not for long he is down Ace, the next target. Buybacks are incoming. Ace, can he get out? He barely can. But game, and they've got to try and punish. Bedburn running now. GPK is down. That's one target. Save will be the next target on the chopping block. A save should drop. Eventually made just as he does go. Duraccio would love Nightfall, but another oh. turn now. Duraccio! Pure. Pure. This guy is just ridiculous. That's a dieback. Duraccio has gone. They've got to fight without their Morphling. They are trying. GPK is going to fight back. Nightfall completely surrounded. But look at this Giga Chat just manning up against the whole squad of Gaiman. And they are melting. GG call surely coming soon. Quinn trying his best to clear up as best he can. He gets Nightfall. That's one down. Quinn, can he do it? Save. He's there and he gets oh, it. The God. Ember is gone. Dieback on Quinn. The last piece of the puzzle. It's going to be Tofu. Tofu is down. Full team wipe. Two times around. GG's oh. called. GG is called. Bet boom. I mean, John, I'll, I'll tell you. I know this is game we're talking about, but Bet boom, they made it look kind of easy. That they did. Just start to finish. Control once more coming out from them. Sure, a couple more uh, shining moments here for Gaiman.